Hey there, doing this video today to show you how to get your Bitcoin transaction hash ID in Cash App. Now I came across a video a year ago on um, that the icons were kind of different and uh, it was one that I actually used at the time in order to find the transaction hash ID myself. So because I'll tell you, when I first got started with Cash App and I was looking and you know, working with Bitcoin and got Bitcoin set up on my Cash App, it's like, where is this hash? It's like, you can't tell me that there's no area for a hash ID. So finally, after searching and searching, I finally found the video, right? So, but, and I was just going to share this now, this video with somebody else. But again, like I said, the icons changed. So it was time to do a new one. So without further ado, let's get started. So you can see the icons at the very bottom of the page. First one is a house. The next one is a uh, debit card, which if you don't have one, they're absolutely awesome. You can design your own. You can like, uh, mine says financially free and it's like uh, a neon green. Oh, it's really cool. And it stands out in my wallet big time. So I absolutely love it. The page we're on right now is the center one, which is the uh the dollar sign then you got the hourglass which gives you kind of like um like uh information on it and everything else like for different things going on pretty cool uh and the far run to uh the right is uh, looks like a clock with the clock hands that's where we're going to go right now okay so as you can see uh once we click there this is the page with all your transactions on it okay here's different things maybe at the top you'll see where um, you, you, different places you shopped, people you sent money to, that type of thing, you know, your activity. Okay. Now, when you make a sale, uh, basically it's usually, you know, money coming into you and then you'll convert it into cash or whatever so that you can take it and send it right to your bank account. That would be the sale. Okay. Deposit, of course, everybody knows what deposit means. And then if you scroll down, now I don't know why it says this, but whenever you're sending money to someplace, in Cash App, it calls it a withdrawal, okay? So to find out the hash the hash ID, you would have to find withdrawals, okay? Uh, normally, if it was something you just did, it's going to be right at the top. But of course, I, it's been a while since I've done that. So I had to scroll down a little bit to find one in, for this example for the video. Okay, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to click on withdrawal. And here you can actually go to uh, the withdrawal information to find that hash ID, or you can click on web, web receipt if you needed that as well, or you can take a screenshot of this if they just need you know a screenshot that you sent it type of thing. But let's go to uh, the web receipt real fast, okay? And you can see that uh, this is our web receipt, it shows that it was completed, shows the amount, the address it went to, and all that kind of stuff, right? So, and then you can see here, um, you can also reach the, the Black Explorer from this end as well, or you can click the uh, withdrawal button, the blue one on the other screen that we just had, and you can do it that way as well. So here we're just going to click on this one since we're already here. And now this opens up our page to get our transaction hash ID, okay? In the middle of the screen, you're going to see in bold white letters, transaction. Below that, in the pretty blue, you're going to see all kinds of numbers and letters, uh, that is our that's our transaction hash ID for our Bitcoin. Okay, now just to the right of all those pretty blue letters and numbers, you see the little white box, the tiny little thing. Sometimes I gotta have a magnifying glass to see the stuff that they have on your right. So if you click on there though, you'll see that it came up as copied. Did you see that? I'm gonna do it again. See it says copied. So once you copy that, you can send it to whomever you're going to send it to, and um. And that way they have that. And if they need the receipt, like I said, you can go in. You can also get a copy of the receipt as well. So um, I hope this uh, was a little easy for you to find it. I hope it was a big help. And have a great day.